Hey, welcome back, everybody. We have a TTM video to get to. We get autographs TTM or through the mail simply by sending our favorite athletes and celebrities cards and photographs through the mail. We've got nine to get to today, so let's get right to it. Hope everybody's having a good week so far and had a good weekend. First one up from Santa Clarita. Always partying in Santa Clarita. Chuck a Siegen. With the ballpoint. Nice. That 58 is his rookie card. And there's a 60 with the Dodgers. Traded from the Phillies to the Dodgers. Didn't sign the index cards. Quite all right. Old school ballpoint. He's old school because he's 90 years old. Started off there with the Phillies. He hits the long ball for the Phillies. Started in football at Stanford. He was really good in baseball and football at Stanford. 90 years old. He played outfield for six seasons, 58 to 67. That 58's his rookie. Maybe best known for hitting two pinch hit home runs in the 59 World Series, which was a record. Then it was tied about 16 years later by a man named Bertie Carbo. In his record, he hit two of them against the Big Red Machine in a losing effort, but Chuck Asijan and the Dodgers won the 59 Series versus the White Sox, I believe. But he came a uh, practicing attorney after his playing days. So that's pretty cool. Quick return. Eight days. No fee for Mr. Seijin. West Palm Beach, Florida. We have two from West Palm Beach today. I think so. Danny Murphy. All right. Got that card back. He signed the index card. Signed two index cards. Pretty cool. Remember that 62 tops is not his rookie, although it has a rookie star there. His 61 card also did. And it says Cubs outfield. He was a kind of a bonus baby. Signed right out of high school. $100,000. And they started him on the three days out of high school. I think three days after they signed him, he was in the outfield for the Cubs. And you could tell there, Danny on the mound, he was 12-0. For his high school in 1960. So then started playing outfield for the Cubs in 60. Then he was sent down. And came back six years later. Six minor league seasons later. As a pitcher for the White Sox. So his pitching in high school paid off. And he played a couple years for the White Sox. In um, 69 and 70. Strange career. Just through two seasons plus two seasons, four seasons out of 12 that he was in the professional baseball altogether. He's 79 years old now. 12 days, no fee for Cubs legend. <laughs> if you want his rookie card, go for the 61 tops. That's the 62, of course. Baltimore, Maryland. I guess we'll get to West Palm Beach down the road. Baltimore. Good morning, Baltimore. Lenny Moore, Hall of Fame, 75. And he spanked the index cards, too. Nice. You may remember last time, I think we sent to Lenny Moore, he kept the card, kept the $5, and sent back a thank you card, signed. And then uh, I realized his fee was now $10. He signed for $5 for years and years. He's one of the GOATs. Definitely worth whatever he wants to charge, but uh, he's charging 10 per now. I got that back in nine days, $10, and he signed two index cards. But obviously, one of the goats of all time in NFL history. He's 88 years old now. Played 12 seasons, 56 to 67. Rookie of the year out of Penn State, where he was an All-American there. Two-time NFL champ for the Colts and uh, seven times in the Pro Bowl. 1950s All-Decade team. Very versatile player. 111 touchdowns. Hall of Fame, as he says, in 75. And nine days. $10 fee. Always in the description down below, I always list the players we got in the video and how many days it took for a return and if there's a fee. So check that out always in my description down below after the video plays. You can check that out. Santa Ana, California here on this one. Look at my note. Michael, God bless you. Mike Horan, Revelation 320. Stand at the door and knock. And he only signed one. One out of three. Mike Horan. First time we've gotten him back. So it's. Uh oh. <laughs> Q 
curious how you got my home address. I'll sign your cards when you write me back. <laughs> Hold him hostage. Man, okay. Well, got your address. Probably either SCN or SCF. If I'm not mistaken, he's been signing there for several years, so he's just now wondering how people are getting his address. That's pretty cool. I'll write him back. No big deal. Uh, Mike Horan. Pro Bowl in 88. He's 63 years old. Punted for a long time. He has over a 1,000 punts. I think we decided there's 16 members of the pitchers who appeared in the 1,000 games or more, and I think there's 32 or 33 punters. We have a thousand punts or more, so not many in the annals of NFL history. San Diego, California, up next. How did Mike Horan take? Well, let's tie that up here. Mike Horan took Mr. Address almost two months, 56, 57, 57 days. Mike Horan, 57 days, signed one of three. This is from San Diego. Dave Rader. One and two and three. Did we send him three? I don't know. I may have sent him two of these 76 tops, which he kept. I think I sent him four cards. Signed three, four, kept one, and sent the one cross plus three nails equals four given. I think I saw Rick's uh, Rick's cards get him back recently, and maybe uh, Media Marauder got him back as well. This has been out for a while, not as long as Mike Horan. This has been out for 40 days, 45 days. Dave Rader, 45 days, 76 top, 79 and 77. Not Doug Rader's brother, commonly mistaken. He's 73 years old. He played catcher for uh, 10 years, 71 to 80, handful of teams, mostly with the Giants where he got his start. And then he kind of got traded and was a backup, but he backed up some awfully good catchers. Ted Simmons in St. Louis. Bob Boone for the Phillies and Carlton Fisk for the Red Sox. No fee for him and like I said, 45 days. This is kind of an odd one. CW for SB. CW for SB. This guy's running for school board? I, I don't know. CW for SB. This is from Miami, Florida. CW for SB. That's not a familiar address to me. Stan Bonson, bon the Bonson burner, sent him 276. Oh, I got that rookie card signed too with Bobby Mercer on it. That's pretty cool. Of course, Bobby's passed away. He's not going to sign that, but that's a good looking card. He was a rookie of the year. I was hoping he'd ins inscribe it. Rookie of the year in 68. Let's see what he did in 68 for those Yanks. 17 and 12, 267 innings pitched. He was 24 years old at the time and a 2.06 ERA. <laughs> I'd say he's Rookie of the Year. So, that's a pretty cool card. We'll leave that one up front. I don't want to put it in front of Mr. Murphy. So, what is this? CW for Stan Bonson. Or is that DW? I don't know. That's not his address, but maybe we can use that next time. CW for SB. We got that back in about three weeks. Look at these. Let's see if he, they show his games pitched here. They should for the White Sox. Chuck Tanner was a young manager, and he had the idea of pitching just three a three-man rotation, which was uh, Wilbur Wood, Tom Bradley, and this fella, Stan Bonson. 43 games started, 42 and 38. All, the, all three of those pitchers had... 40 plus starts. <laughs> you won't see that nowadays. 19 days for Stan Bonson, rookie of the year in 68. And he signs, I think he's one for five, but four for 10. So I sent him four cards and 10 bucks before. The first time I got him was three cards and 10 bucks. So he'll definitely sign a bunch for 10 bucks. Next up, Las Wages. Las Wages. That's Las Vegas. You can get my note back. Tom Mack, Hall of Famer. Nice. We got uh, Abe's card collection. Just got this dual signed with Tom Mack and Larry Little. Get ready to send that off to Mr. Little. He signs one free and $5 after that. 73. And there's his rookie. 70 tops. Beautiful autograph. And the 71. It's for good measure. 
send him some money. He signs for free. We sent him 10 bucks, I think, with this for four cards and that rookie. I wanted to make sure that was signed. And, uh, ooh, let's look at that. I like this one too. <laughs> this is a good one. Finish, answered a question. Put this back here. See if I can show this. Who were some of the best defensive linemen you faced in your career? And he lists one. Bob Lilly. Bob Lilly. He only listed one. Who are some of the best? As I often say, Bob Lilly is the GOAT defensive tackle of all time. I don't know. Now that I have Joe Green's rookie card signed, I might need to <laughs> adjust my ratings. But uh, that's pretty cool. Tom Mack. 17 days. Hall of Fame in 1999, 17 days. One of the goats. If you're talking about going position by position and forming an all-time team, you'd be hard-pressed to leave Lenny Moore or Tom Mack off your team. Both those were two of the goats. Uh, you can put Lenny Moore at either tight end or wing back or half back and or you know a kick returner if you were looking for special teams fillers. And Tom Mack, of course, all-time guards. Next up, St. Louis. St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, we sent Tom Mack 10 bucks with four cards. There's another pen. Larry Stallings, ballpoint. All right. I don't mind a ballpoint. I'd rather have a Sharpie if I had my druthers, but some of these old school guys like Chuck Asijan, Larry Stallings, if they want to sign with a ballpoint, who, who am I to say? I think his rookie card is 68, maybe 69. He was a solid linebacker. I think he made a Pro Bowl in 1970. In fact, Mac probably blocked Stallings a bunch of times in their careers because they played very similar careers. Mac played from 66 to 78, and Stallings played from 63 to 76. So you got 11 seasons overlapping there, 66 to 76. Nine days, and there was a new address I remember for Larry Stallings, so be aware of that. New address, nine days, no fee, three of three. Phoenix, Arizona is the last one up. And then on a good one. Two Hall of Famers so far. Willie Wilson. Put this number there, number six. Nice. First time we've sent to him. That's his rookie card at 79 tops. Saw this on a mail day a couple weeks ago. That's a quick return. Seven, eight, nine, ten days. Willie Wilson. There's a $5 fee, 66 years old. Outfielder with tremendous speed. Played 19 seasons from 76 to 94. This 79 card is his rookie. 2,200 lifetime hits. 668 stolen bases. World Series champion in 1985 with the Royals. Batting crown in 82. And uh, Royals Hall of Fame. 10 days, $5 fee. So that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine returns. And only one of them, or Lenny Moore was $10 fee. Willie Wilson was a $5 fee. We sent a donation to Tom Mack. The rest of them were free. So get yourself some free autographs. And I'm going to write Mike Horan and tell him how I got his autograph, I guess. And maybe he'll sign some more cards for me. Let me know down below what your favorite was. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me. Give me a thumbs up as always. And if you haven't subscribed, Click that right there, and then you can ring that bell, and you'll be notified of all my future videos. And if you missed last week's uh, Thursday's TTM video, check that out. Just get a lot of views there. So thanks for thank you, everybody, for watching, and we will see you soon.